Okay, we're ready. So what's up, guys? Me, Doc, from SampleKings.com. And what I want to do today, I want to use Ableton Live. This is 11.3 along with Machina, which is the latest version. I think it's like 2.17 or something. And we're going to pull it in here, but I want to use Machina as a soft with my beats and stuff on it. But I'll make sure I have a template of it first. So whenever I want to bring in Machina and use that, I open my template, then I can start routing my signals. Let's start this. So here we have a MIDI track. My first MIDI track is right there. And what I want to do in this track is I want to get Machina loaded. I'll go to plugins first. Now once I'm plugins here, I'll look down here. I already got set up for us right here. There's Machina. I'm going to drag it into here. Top instance right here. It says MIDI. Go drag it right there. And now Machina appears there. And we also have the Machina app right here. This is the plugin, right? And so as you can see here, I'm in all groups. And I have uh, routing selected and I have uh, pattern selected. So I can select anything here. Let's say I select, um, let's see, what's this? And let's play this back. Oh, that's, that's heavy. Let's go, over, let's get this one over here. Let's do this one right here. Perfect. Now this is being controlled by Ableton Live. So here I'm gonna get this here to maybe down to like 110. That's good enough for me, 19 is good for me. That sounds cool and smooth. So you see we have a bunch of different sounds here. From um, one, sound slot one here. I'm just going down the line here, right? And essentially we're gonna have something like 16 different tracks. As you can see, these are 16 different sounds that I have in this one group. So I want to make sure I can route these sounds to separate tracks. Now, what I want to do here in this case is make sure I've got everything set up. So I come to here first. I'm going to go to the top here. Here we go. This is the first sound. And so I want to make sure this sound is routed out of Machina. So I want to go to right here. I'm going to sound right there, right? And now what I want to do is I want to route this signal out. To do that, I want to make sure I can go to the I.O. So here's the I.O. setup for the output, right? And this is out. See, so it's output there. It's going to the group. So all these sounds are going to the group. What I want to do in this case is I'd like to send these sounds to separate outputs. And you can see right here when I select group, below group, you'll see where it has output 1 through 16. That's external 1 through 16. I'll make this first one... I'll make this one two because one goes directly to this MIDI track right here. I'll show you this right here. Um, play it. You can see that right here. This is all the outputs we're hearing now going to this one track here, which is my Machina instance, which is MIDI. This is MIDI right there. So, but what I want to do is make sure I go to an audio track. So, for this one here, as I said before, I select that sound. I'll come to here. I'll make that. External one. Nope. I'll make it external two, actually. So I can't record that. Then I'll go to here. I'll make this three. That's pretty loud, isn't it? And I'll make this four and so and so on. And I'll make each one of these have a separate output to them. That way I can deal with them as separate outputs. And so this is three. This is going to be five. It's going to be six right here. And this will be seven. And this will be eight, and so on. As you can see, I'll keep doing this. And I'll scroll back up here. That's eight, and this will be nine. And this will be 10. So I'm making sure everything has a separate output. It's important. This way, I know where the signals are going. I can route them out. I know what's happening. And if I pull another different instance of Machina in, I can route that out too as well. So I want to make sure this template I'm making can be used constantly for anything I want to pull in from Machina. Now that's uh, this will be 13. This will be 14. This will be 15. And I don't know if that sounds even playing in the sequence, is it? No, it's not playing in the sequence. I don't even need that one. Perfect. 
And so what I want to get next is, good. I want to get the last one, and then this one here will be 16. Perfect. So they've all been routed out. And so now what I want to do, I'm going to close this instance of machine right here. I'll close that out. And so now what I want to do is create some audio tracks so I can have them be recorded directly into machine, or excuse me, recorded directly into Ableton. So I want to go back to here, and I'm going to go to create. I can do create audio track. Here's create audio track right there, right? So I've got audio track one, and this is in. I want to go out though, so I want to make sure I got Machina right there, right? And then I want to make sure that I'm going to use one of these outputs. And in this case, we're going to use output two. This is my first instance of it, right? And let's see how I could monitor the sound from there. This would be that sound going directly into my Ableton Live. And this is to monitor that sound. So I bring my instance of the Machina back up. If I don't see it like that, I come right here, this little tool right there, and it pulls it right back up. And here at the top, this is the drum. And that drum, you'll see here, it appears here on two, right? There's two right there. So I just need to write everything else. So I'm gonna close this out here, and I'm gonna create a bunch of tracks. There's two. There we go. And now we just have enough tracks here. Yes, we do. So what I need to do is just route everything where it should actually go. So my first instance, of course, is gonna be that kick drum, but I'm gonna make sure I can route everything perfectly, see what I've done so far. So you can see here, as I put it, this became the last one right here, right? So what I want to do is make sure I got them in order. So I'll come back to here, and I'll make sure it's a machine right there, right? I'll come to here. I'll make this to, I want to probably go here to make that also as input. I'll come to here. I go to machine it here, and I'll make this one three. And make sure it's input there. And I go to four and so forth and so on. I go right down the line, right? To make sure I've got every output set up for Machina. So I go back to here. I'll put in Machina here. Let's see, Machina here. Machina here. But rather than doing all this, this gets to be kind of complicated. So what I'd rather do is go back in and just make them into like a very simple thing, just one item. So I'm gonna undo all this. Okay, I got this first one here. I would come to here actually, right? I got this track here selected and I always wanna duplicate it. See, and I'll just keep duplicating this track. So I'll go duplicate right here, which is uh, D, Command D. And I got two so far, so I want to go perfect. And now I come back to here, the beginning again. They've all been duplicated. We already have the output monitoring going on right here. You can see it's blue here, and N is blue here, right here too as well. So we're really ready to go. So you can see that's Machina 2. Everything says Machina 2. I come here to an output, and my output is going to be 2. I come to here, this output 2 should be 3. I come to here, this will be four. I come to here again, this will be five. I come to here and this will be six. And this one will be seven. The next one will be eight. And the next one here will be nine. And the next one will be 10. And then this one right here will be 12, or 11. As you can see, I'm running right through these things here, so I'll make sure I got everything lined up properly. And that's 11. And that's 10, right. So I'm going to right to here now. And then this will be 12. And this will be 13. This will be 14. And this will be 15. And the last one here should be something like 16. He's already set to two already, right? So that was the first one I actually did. So I'll make it 16 this time. So 16. And so now everything's been routed out. 
So let's close this other side of this up. You can see the whole board. There we go. Perfect. And now we can see everything that's going on here in the entire system. And I can just press play here. You can see everything's been routed out to the specific tracks. I'll press stop. And so I've routed everything in machine out. I can actually record this way too. But what I want to do here, first of all, I like to say this is a template, really, to make sure I've got this locked in. So I'd come to here, I'll go to save, and save as a template. And it'll appear right here. See, it's right under my MPC template. So I'm going to call this my machine template. Machine template. Now that that's in there, anytime I pull up machine, I want to use machine inside of Ableton Live, I can do it easily this way. I can track out my tracks, whether it's drums, bass, or sounds, or samples, or whatever. I can keep tracking stuff into Ableton Live and then use it. It's pretty cool to do. So once I got this thing, I like the way that is right there. I'll say, you know, something's time for me to record this. So I can say, start recording. Now remember, this controls the tempo. That means Ableton Live here will control the tempo of everything. My tempo here is going to be 109. So I can go from the top here. I want to look at it actually record in. So I'll go here to the top on this section right here. And I'll just press record. I can record it in. Now watch. Before I can do that though, I got to go back to here. And we got to make sure these tracks are ready to be recorded upon. So I got to go down to here. And we must go record. But as I do, that's one at a time. So I need to go to here, record, and I need to hold down. Oops, go to here. Okay. Some odd part here. I'm going to hit and control. Okay, I'm hitting command on a Mac, and I'm able to record on multiple tracks at once. Now let's scroll across here again to the end and go to here, 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 and here. And I can record all these tracks. And to see them, I'm going to go back up here. I want to see this view right here, my range view. And then I want to come in and press record. What's already been recorded? I'm going to record right here. Yep. And you can see recording on all the tracks. go back here I'm gonna bring this down and recording on all the tracks here you can see it happening here and this is a great easy way to record inside of Ableton Live directly from Machina I'll just stop. This is a demo demonstration for everybody. If you got any questions, need some help, let me know. We're SamKings.com. We do one-on-one -on -one Zoom lessons on anything. Could be Ableton Live, could be Machine, it could be MPC. Well, you can see automatically in our site what we have. And it's pretty much all the top software, all the top hardware. We understand all that stuff. Any questions, hit me up. I'll see you in the next video.